It's Philly is Funny with Bennett and Boss. Jake Matera, good to have you here on the uh, Philly is Funny podcast, man. Hey, thanks for having me, man. I appreciate it. We uh, we realized when you got booked to do this podcast, uh, Laura actually met you. Yes, surprise. Yes. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, She's no. been stalking so, you for yeah, years. I'm so pretty yeah. pretty sure we met last year. I think you were on with Mike Racine. I don't know if you remember that. Yes. Um, and then I was like at the bar afterwards and totally fangirl. I'm like, man, you're so funny. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that was the punchline yeah, yeah. show. That's fun. Yeah, yeah. All that right. was fun, yeah. Yeah, good times. So. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a big fan. Oh, well, like, thank cool, you. Cool, man. Bet it, uh, we got a good one coming in. Nah. Yeah, <laughs> and so uh, she was playing me clips this morning. I was like, wait, no, I've seen him too. So oh, I've God. seen, yeah, yeah, very I, funny, I'm sorry. Man. Still yeah. the same material. It's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. No, I shouldn't say that. Right? I, think I, saw you like a, I think I saw you like a month ago. Um, but yeah, hilarious, yeah. man. Good to have you here. Oh, thank you. Yeah. yeah, I'm honored to be here. This is a beautiful digs you got here. This I say digs now because it's like radio, so I have to be cool. Uh, <laughs> that is cool. Yeah, yeah. Nailed it. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, this is a gorgeous space. I wish you could see it at home. You can't, it, but we, it's we, nice. We decided not to film today. Yeah, the because... one day. <laughs> yeah, it was very convenient. But it's pretty nice, right? It's pretty magical in here. It is. It it's is like gorgeous. a third month here. There's somebody juggling in the corner. No. no. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, uh, yeah, I'm excited to be here. We're doing the punchline. Right? Am I supposed to promote the show? <laughs> punchline? Yeah. yeah. If you want. Rachel's over there. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. What are we talking about? I'm trying to get Rachel on the podcast. Yeah, Rachel. Yeah. Want to go. This is the podcast yeah, that Rachel's Rach. going to be on because we're, no? Come okay. on, Rach. Uh, but how's, how's life with you, man? Everything good? Every, you What's know, everything's great. Yeah. Uh, life is good. I have a, a two-year-old at home, a uh, beautiful wife. We'll have a job. So, yeah, life is good. Yeah, Andrea, so our coworker Andrea was just telling me in the hallway that she knows you, and she yeah. like, used to work with you, and she said he has the most adorable baby. It could oh. be like a Gerber baby. So I, yeah. I kind of want to, like, stalk your baby. Do oh. you have photos of your child yeah, yeah, on Instagram? Oh, of course. Uh, yeah, I You pulled I do. that stuff look up? Look at that, yeah. <laughs> it's oh, kind of weird. I never <laughs> asked someone to look at the yeah. baby, but, like, she really hyped it up. Yeah, no, this is I making... hope not to be disappointed. No, but... this is this is making for, <laughs> for a great radio. Uh, no, but <laughs> we'll, we'll post photos of your baby on the website. Oh, God. Yeah, okay. we'll do really... <laughs> it. Maybe allow it. There's, yeah. my, there's my little guy right there. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. Uh, he is—he actually really is adorable. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Thank wow. you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, I was skeptical, but like <laughs> one of the good ones. I just—I need, <laughs> just needed to see it just for. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. What's his yeah. name? His name's James. Yeah. James, and he's how old yeah. too? You said? He's yeah, that two and a half, something like that. Yeah. Nice. So how's how's it like being a new dad? It's awesome. It is the most uh, rewarding thing. If you're out there, just don't wear anything. Just go right in. Have a kid. It's the most rewarding experience. <laughs> Just do no matter it. what your situation is. Yeah, I, it doesn't matter if you don't have any money. Just do it. <laughs> and uh, let's overpopulate this place. <laughs> Go, baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good for you. I think that's a great uh, way to live. That's awesome. <laughs> Good for yeah. you, Jake. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, thank you. You're very free spirit. Yeah. Where did you work with Andrea? Uh, we worked at um, um, another, uh, like a radio station oh, back okay. in the day. And uh, yeah, I was an intern. She was... Uh, Doing like voice work at um uh, was it Ben? Yeah, yeah. So uh yeah, so that was a little bit ago. It's just pretty cool. I'm trying to like look at you, but I just you can do one of these things. You can like put the microphone to the side. Yeah, get all like you can tell you're professional. (laughs) This is it. It took me 15 years to come up with this little thing. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Yeah, it's pretty sick. (laughs) You can put your feet up too if you want. Just really, really settle in the zone here. Do that. I will. It is cozy. yeah. Yeah, I don't think this has the capacity to. To hold me, but uh, so do you now do stand up full time? Uh, no, I do it. Uh, I moonlight okay. as a stand up comedian. Uh, I would like to do it full time, but it's hard to do that out of Philadelphia, right? Uh, so you know, I um, I would like to feed my family. That's kind of goal number one. So I try to take care keep of your that kid first. alive. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yep. What's um, your uh, day job? Uh, I can't tell you. Uh, yeah, I'm a private detective. Uh, and I know everything about both of you. Oh, no right shit. No. <laughs> that's awesome. That'd be no, so cool. No, I, yeah, I work uh, at a university very close to here. Yeah, so that's oh, fun. Oh, nice. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Good for you, man. Yeah, DeVry. It's very, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I'm in trouble with DeVry now. Um, <laughs> how long have you been doing uh, comedy for in general? Uh, how long? Pro- uh, not long enough, but too long. <laughs> if, uh, about eight years. Okay. Yeah. How old are you now? I'm 32. Oh, okay. Yeah. Same age. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Nice. Yeah. Um, are you from here? I'm not. I'm from New York originally. Been okay. here for seven years now. Oh, yeah. I like it. 
I love the city of Philadelphia. It's Don't great. Don't lie to me. I no, I do. And eyes. I love it even more now because I recently moved to Jersey with my fiance. Like, she already had a house. Yeah. So I moved to Jersey in Collingswood. Oh, and okay. I love Philadelphia so much more now <laughs> for being in Jersey. Why are you doing Jersey... a thumbs down while you say this? Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Philadelphia is the worst. Um, no, um, there's parts of Jersey that's beautiful. I live in Collingswood. There's a lot of great BYOBs, and it's yeah. like cute and quaint, but like the vibe is totally different, and it made me appreciate Philadelphia that much more. Collingswood is nice. Yeah. yeah. And, and you're from where? I am originally from Hamilton, New Jersey. Woo. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Six now, Flags. Yeah, now I live in the like, Pennsylvania flags. suburbs. Yeah? Which yeah. suburb? Prospect Park. Do you really? Yeah. Oh. Where do you live? <laughs> I also live in Prospect Park. We're talk- it's we're a very small what? town, so we're going to talk about this yeah, afterwards. There's wow. like 100 people that <laughs> yes. live there. Oh, yes. Shit. It's a very small. What street do you live on? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, like, are you my yeah. neighbor? <laughs> Probably. Yeah. I'm wow. So excited yeah. Wow, we're wow, all coming together in this podcast. Yeah. This is this really is, nice. Yeah. This is nice. <laughs> this is, I'm glad we did this. This is like a 23 and me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, we're related? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold on. You live in, <laughs> you live upstairs. Okay, <laughs> this is getting weird. Yeah, Jake, what got you into stand-up comedy? Uh, oddly enough, I kind of had like a reverse trajectory with stand-up. I started. Uh, I had an internship at Conan O'Brien. Really? Wow. Yeah, forever ago. And so I was out there. I was playing in a band and stuff. I was like the goofy guy. I was like, maybe you'll try comedy. And then I took a class and I sucked. I was like, nope, never doing that again. <laughs> and then I went to Conan and uh, I became an intern. And I got to see the show happen like every single day. And I uh, I started working in the monologue department where I would just write the setups to jokes, uh, basically find the news stories and just like write a setup. And every day I got to see like the writers do like 80 to like 200 jokes a day uh, wow. to, yeah. you know, to get for that day's show that will maybe be like six to 12 jokes. So like it was just like a, a, a full clinic on like how to write a joke. And uh, yeah, when I got back, I just like I wanted to do it. Yeah. Now, are you still teaching? I think I saw that on the on the web somewhere that you're teaching. Yes, yeah, stand-up. yeah. I still do that. I I teach uh, uh, stand up comedy at the Philly Improv Theater. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's really fun. Uh, it's just a, a cool uh, way to just meet new people and get see people who are excited about doing stand up comedy and I like seeing their perspectives and just like helping them find the jokes. It's pretty cool. Do you yeah. subscribe to the idea that like anyone could do comedy, or do you think it has to be like a? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Everybody, okay. Yeah, everybody can do it. Yeah, you just gotta. The, the only thing is. Like, there's no shortcut. You just have to do it, and you can't stop. Like, you have to go out every single night. You have to miss birthdays and special occasions. You have to kind of, you have to be selfish. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and then you succeed. Kind of like radio. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I haven't had a, had a life in 15 years. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. I, I can believe that for sure. Because, mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, a lot of my friends uh, who I interned with forever ago, uh, I tapped out, and now they're finally seeing the fruits of their labor of, like, just paying off. Right. Like uh, like somebody just became like a music director. Somebody like uh, like just now, ten years later, after like basically, you know, being paid nothing forever. So <laughs> yeah, you guys patience. Know, you guys yeah. are both wearing tuxedos, so yeah. that yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're doing well now. Yeah. Thank you for noticing, Jake. Yeah, I would really wish the camera was on today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you guys are missing out. <laughs> Fantastic. Back to Conan. Do you actually like hang out with Conan? Do you? Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? We're okay. Buds. I, didn't, I didn't realize like what the relationship was when you intern. What, Conan. So generally, it's like he'll say, you know, he's super nice. He's the nicest guy you could possibly imagine. Right. Uh, and he'll go out of his way to sit, like just goof around with the interns and make it like a special experience. Yeah. The, the, so there's like a staff of 200 people uh, there were. And then, um, you know, like probably 40, 50 interns at a time wow. for every semester. And he just, uh, yeah, he'll come out and just talk to everybody. I was one of the lucky ones where at one point he knew my name. He would not remember me oh, now. In a ho- you know what I mean? Because he meets so many That's people. That's a big day, though. That was huge. Yeah. Like, he saw me in the hallway and was like, hi, Jake. And I was like, oh, my God, I could die. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I bet that's just, uh, like it's cutthroat, right? Like 200 people trying to like get Conan's attention, trying to get oh, their jokes on. It's got to be cutthroat, right? It's, it's well, Yeah. So the, not all of them are writers. Like, some are research, some mm. are producers, all that kind of stuff. But like, uh, yeah, it, it, it is weird because like I remember like the person in... Uh, and when I first started there, I was in research. Like Conan d- didn't even know their name, and then like they said, he said my name in front of that <gasps> person, and they're like, "What the? Like, what is going?" On? And then it's like, <laughs> "Sorry." <laughs> yeah. Did any of your like setups for jokes make it on? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, almost daily. Oh, so like, awesome. it was, yeah, it was really cool. Like, I mean, I wasn't like, "What's with airplane food?" Like, I was like, <laughs> it was just all based off like topical news stories. So like. When I was there, Mitt Romney was running for president. <laughs> that is so long ago. Man. Just saying that out loud. So it was all things about him, like just drinking milk and going wild after he lost the election, and like, 
no, yeah, it was it was crazy. Um, uh, yeah, it was a lot of Newt Gingrich jokes about his moon Newt colony. Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I still I'm very up on my 2012 <laughs> topical yeah. humor. I'm all about it. Yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah. So yeah, it was just like finding those little things and then writing them out. It was pretty cool. Yeah. Are there comics uh, now that you're really into? I know that uh, we were just talking before you got here. Uh, Pete Davidson had a special. We were talking about that. Have you seen anything new? I haven't seen Pete Davidson's. Uh, I know Sam Marill has a really good one that's on. Uh, it's free right now on YouTube. You can stream the whole thing. Oh, is that right? He just released it. I think last week. Uh, so that's really great. Um, Favorite comics uh, like I love Nate Bargatze, mm -hmm. uh, Brian Regan, uh, Dana Gould. Uh, Chad Daniels, like all these guys are like really amazing. Matt Bronger, um, those are all men. Aparna Nancharla, <laughs> she's fantastic. There you go. She's like really one of the best out there right now. Um, sorry, what? that was my phone. Let me <laughs> let me check that. That's no, work. They said. <laughs> oh, well, it's comedy. They just fired me. Okay, uh, <laughs> yeah, well, should I leave? <laughs> good to know. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, yeah. No, there's so many good comedians right now. So many that are like about to break. Like. Uh, Joe Zimmerman's hilarious. I don't know if you guys know him. Mm -hmm. um, there's a there's a podcast about uh, joke writing out there called Good One, and I think um, was it John Mulaney like referenced his joke as like the joke he wishes he wrote. Really, and it's oh, just like really cool. Yeah, he's getting like high praise from a lot of people. Love John Mulaney. Yeah, yeah, he's the man. Um, did you give up something for Lent? I know that uh, Laura was asking me this before we got started. <laughs> Did Lent get... Lent started yesterday, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I um, know. So I used to give up stuff for Lent. I kind of just gave up on that. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm not even super religious. I just like to do it for the challenge of it. Okay. Yeah. So this year I am giving up all forms of potatoes because I love all them. forms of potatoes. <laughs> all I of them are off the table. All, all of them because, like, legit, I will eat French fries. It used to be pretty bad. Now I'm down to like once a week. But then there's other potatoes in there during the week. So yeah. I gotta just cut all potatoes, them out. anything with the spud. So how long does that go till? Lent is what 40, 40 days? 40 days. Wow. So I did this. I didn't do it last year because I, I did it the year before and I was like, man, last year I need a break. Like that was too hard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. What yeah. about you, Jake? Uh, I would say comedy. I've given up You've comedy. Given up comedy. Yeah. <laughs> Not gonna be funny for 40 days. Yeah. So come to that. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it's gonna be a blast. It's gonna be amazing. So you don't uh, you don't give up anything. You uh... no. I mean, I've I've given up you know enough. <laughs> You gave up your freedom when you had a child, right? Yeah, so yes, that's right. That's enough. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Laura was talking about spring break. I guess spring break is coming up for a lot of people. Yeah. Um, do you have any fun spring break stories? Oh, man. Uh, apparently, Laura's packing a lot of heat today. Yeah. You, you, got, you got a lot of stories? Yeah, she's got was, like a good well, spring break story. Well, to know a little crazy story about you, Jake. Come yeah, on. yeah we, want to give, we have layers. We want, we want to know oh, uh, more you want about to peel you. Peel back the layers, huh? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what do we got? I, I don't have a crazy spring break story but i do have a story about uh like when i my first time my first experience living with other people was in college it was like a dorm setup it was when i was in california and uh the first night uh, i went out i got like super drunk at some bar in hollywood and i was uncomfortable and scared so i just kept drinking uh <laughs> you know like you do and then i hadn't met my roommates yet because i got there a day early and uh that night they were there they were all sleeping by the time i got back and then I got sick in the middle of the night, and uh, I threw up everywhere. <laughs> like, <laughs> and it was all carpet. Oh, no. oh It God, was an apartment, and I was, what, 23, 24? And uh, I had nothing to clean it up with. So just a bunch of dabbing with paper towels. And I remember oh. I was so drunk that I just passed out. Oh, no. And then I woke uh, up, and I just hear everybody <laughs> receive this in the hallway, like, at 8 a.m. in the morning. And they're like, what the hell? And I'm just like, oh, God, no. I'm like, hey, guys. Nice to meet you. Hey. Nice to meet you. And believe it or not, we, I'm not friends with any of them now. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're kidding me. Yeah. Stop yeah. it right now. Yeah. <laughs> That's a visual. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's, that's incredible. Yeah. Now, Laura's been hyping up her spring break so, story. because her. Yes. So oh, yeah. your, your radio name is Laura Boss. Yes. And so you said 10 years ago. So 10 years ago, spring break 2010, <laughs> the nickname Boss came about. Oh, ah, right. dun, 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 dun. Do I tell. Was, I was on a spring break cruise to Mexico, as all the classy people do. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, I went with my girlfriends, and they were, you know, we're 21, so we're in that stage of, like, 
ooh, and we're going to have fake names. Da, da, da. So it's our first like hour on the ship, and we're like pre-gaming in our room with the alcohol that we snuck on the ship. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> and uh, they're like, oh, fake names, fake names. I'm like, if I'm going to do that, I'm doing some crazy name, you know? Like, And this is when that song, Like a Boss, was like a big deal. All right? Okay. Oh, man. So like our first group of dudes that we meet, they're like, oh, I'm Melody, I'm this, I'm that. And I'm like, my name's Boss. <laughs> like, my like, name's Boss. You just went then, right for yeah, it. Straight right face, too, and everything. Like, yeah, and they're like, okay. I'm like, no, seriously, my name's Boss of Matamia. And they're like, what? And I'm like, yeah, my parents are archaeologists. They met in Mesopotamia, which just doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> oh, guys. my God. And, uh, yeah, got drunk, conceived me, and here I am. And then people, like, actually believe me because everybody's drunk. <laughs> and I had people on the ship like coming to my door asking if Boss was in there. <laughs> like when I was wow. So then That's... I like legit changed my name on like Facebook. That's all we had back then, 2010, <laughs> yeah. I feel like. And so I changed it when I got home to Boss and Matamia Hewen. And then people like from the ship were friend requesting me. Oh my God. <laughs> so wow. then kept that for like two months until my mom called me at school and she was like, hey, Boss and Matamia. Um, when are you going to change your name back to your pretty given name, Laura? <laughs> <laughs> so then it became Laura Boss. And wow. it just never went away. Wow. Yeah. I'm glad we figured Spring this out. Break. <laughs> By the way, terrible name to make up on the spot. <laughs> yeah, wow. How did your head go there? I'm Chair I... Dudley. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. That's right. awesome. You lived a whole different life before yeah, radio, huh? Now I'm... Boring. <laughs> I would have I loved to have seen that fake ID. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, you're not getting in anywhere. Yeah. I can't beat that. I have no good spring break stories. No, I no, I have uh, nothing. Literally nothing. I wish I could share. <laughs> I can't. I can't beat a fake name, and I can't beat throwing up and passing out in it. Yeah, I, 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 I'm We're striking out. Over here. Yeah, I'm yeah, striking yeah. out. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about tonight, uh, Jake. So tonight's yes. comedy all stars. Punchline Philadelphia, eight o'clock showtime tonight. Yes. Uh, who's on the lineup? Talk about the show and uh, and all oh, that man. good stuff. We want to know. It's a great lineup. It's a great lineup. Yeah, a great I know lineup. we were talking I'm about it. I'm so excited about it. My good buddy John Deary is going to be on the show, so you can't beat that. Eric Terrell and Che Guerrero. So you got three like killers right there. It's going to be really fun, and I'm on it too. So that's four total. Four total. Four total killers. All the together. The police will be there. <laughs> One of us will be arrested, uh, and I will not throw up on anybody. No throw up. Are you going to bring your baby? A cute, Absolutely. Cute kid? Perfect. Yeah, so, yeah, if you're listening and you really want to check this kid out, yeah. the baby will be there tonight at punch. Yeah. <laughs> What's the kid's name? Uh, uh, James. Yeah. James. I need somebody to hold him while I'm on stage. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Laura, anything else you want to uh, reveal in this podcast? I feel like <laughs> no, you revealed a I'm lot. Good. I'm good we, for this week. <laughs> no, you're good? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, Jake Matera, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Hey, thank you guys for having See me. See him tonight. Punchline Philadelphia. Comedy All Stars. PunchlinePhilly.com. Yeah. Grab your tickets. Thank you so much, man. Philly is funny with Bennett and Boss. Exclusively on Radio.com.